and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how to solve a transportation problem using Vogel's approximation method which is known as VAM method. Before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also, if you find this video helpful, please like it and share. Also, please check out my other videos. All the links are given in the description below. If you have any doubt regarding this video or you have any suggestion feedback, please mention in the comment section below. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. All the links are given in the description. Now starting with this problem. So this was the problem that this is the transportation matrix 4, 8, 8, 12, 8, 11, 10, 6, 9. Now we have to solve this by Vogel's approximation method. So what you have to do? First you have to find, first you have to check whether it is balanced problem or not. So here this was the supply 50, 150, 300 and there was the demand 150, 100 and 250. So you add total supply and total demand. It comes out to be 500 and 500. So it is a balanced problem. If it is not a balanced problem, that is this, either this is greater or this is greater, then you have to add dummy row. Alright. Now. In this problem, this is balance problem. Now, what you have to do by using Vogel's approximation method, the steps are, first we have to find the difference in each row and each column between the smallest and the second smallest. For example, suppose you take first row, this is the first row. So the smallest is 4 and second smallest is 8 because these two are same so 4 and 8 difference you write here 4. Similarly, smallest and second smallest. So, 8 and 11. So, 11 minus 8, 3. The smallest is 6. Second smallest is 9. So, 9 minus 6, 3. You write here. So, 4, 3, 3. Similarly, in the columns. Here it is 4, 12, 10. So, 4 and 10. You write 6. 6 and 8. You write 2. 8 and 9. You write 1. So, 4, 3, 3. 6 to 1. This is known as the penalty. This method is also known as penalty method. So these are the penalty 4, 3, 3, 6, 2, 1. This is the first step. Alright, you have to find the penalty for each row and each column. 4, 3, 3, 6, 2, 1. Now you have to find the maximum penalty where it occurs. It occurs here 6. So you have to take this column corresponding to this column. You have to allocate. And that too you have to allocate in the smallest cost. That is here. Because it is 4 and this is 12 and 10. So the smallest is 4. So you have to take the maximum penalty. Take that corresponding column or row. Suppose maximum penalty would be 7 and it would have occurred here. So you have to take this row. Corresponding to maximum penalty you have to take. So maximum penalty comes here 6. So you take this column. Then you have to select the minimum row, minimum element which occurs in this particular column that is 4. So you have to allocate here. Now demand, so supply was 50, demand was 150. So maximum 50 can be supplied. So you write 50 here. Here supply becomes 0. You cross this column. These 6 elements remain 8, 8, 8, 11, 6, 9. And here 100 demands remains. 50 is satisfied but 100 is still remains. Now in the next step you have to find again penalty. Now this column is gone. Only 6 elements remain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These elements remain. You again find the penalty. Penalty would be 2, 1 for this and this. And for these penalty would be 8 minus 8, 0. 11 minus 8, 3. 9 minus 6, 3. This would be penalty. This was the first for the first step. This is for the second step. You see 0, 3, 3. Here would be no penalty. Dash because this column has been cancelled. So dash 2 and 1. So 0, 3, 3. So you see maximum is 3. But here 2 places 3 occur. So you have to take that 3 corresponding to which row we have the minimum 
here corresponding to this three we have 8 and 11 and corresponding to this three we have 6 and 9 so 6 is the minimum of all these so you have to take this this row and that too you have to allocate in this and minimum of 9 and 6 is 6 so you have to allocate here here supply is 150 demand is 250 maximum 150 can be supplied you write 150 here you put 0 here you cross this column here 100 demand remains from 250 it comes down to, to 100 150 is satisfied all right now these two columns are gone these two columns are gone only this column remains again you find the penalty now penalty for the third step will be this now these two columns are gone so the penalty would be these elements itself for the row so 8 11 and 9 8 11 and 9 penalty would be 8 11 and 9 8 11 and 9 and the penalty for the columns would be dash dash and 1 9 minus 8 this this column dash dash and 1 so maximum would be 11 so you have to allocate here now here 100 is needed demanded but supply is 300 so 100 you put here you put 0 here you cross this row and now supply 200 remains again in the fourth step you find the penalty here it would be 8 because these two columns are now gone and this 11 this element is also gone only two elements remain 8 and 9 so penalty comes out to be 8 here dash here 9 in this dash dash and 9 minus 8 1 so maximum is 9 so you allocate here now here from the previous step 100 demand was there and we have 200 supply so you write 100 here you put 0 here you cross this row and here 100 remains now only one is left 8 so you 100 is uh, is available that is 100 is to be supplied and 100 is demanded so you put 0 0 here and you write 100 here so we have allocated and completed the matrix so you can check the number of allocations are should be m plus n minus 1 m plus n minus 1 should be the number of allocation so m is the number of row 3 plus n number of column 3 minus 1 that to be 5 so you see 1 2 3 4 5 we have allocated in 5 places so hence the solution is optimal and we can calculate the total cost of transportation by multiplying 4 into 50 plus 8 into 100 plus 11 into 100 plus 9 into 100 plus 6 into 150 so it comes out to be 3900 rupees i hope i have made myself clear and i have explained you this problem and if you have found this video helpful please share it please like comment and subscribe my channel if you have already not subscribed also check out the other videos if you want to see more of my videos please check the links in the description also follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all the links are given in the description at the end now signing off take care bye bye